Hello everyone and welcome back to Loop Hero. So we're starting on chapter one with the rogue. Same deck that we had last time. I don't believe anything's changed with our deck. Got a little bag here. Number of trophies. Interesting. So stats, damage for 6, vampirism 5%, 10% chance for 140% damage. I like it. I see that I'm not getting any weapons. Or armor. Also, do we have two weapon slots? I mean, we're holding two weapons, it makes sense that we would. I suppose we'll throw this down here. May as well. Get that going early. I should have placed the village after I had passed it. That might have been the smart thing to do. Yeah, we might just straight up die because I'm dumb. Yeah, we're, we're probably about to die here because I'm dumb. Yeah, we've used all of our potions. We're screwed. <laughs> oh, what a blunder. What a blunder. Okay, let's let's just pretend that one didn't happen. Let's go. Oh, goodness. Okay, well, lesson learned. Don't fight vampires and ghouls when you have no weapons or armor. It's bad for your health. Stick to slimes. They're a little more uh, easy to handle. Early treasury is a nice thing to see. Okay, don't do the same thing again. There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello, loot. Um, okay. Uh, let's just put that on because that's a thing. Let's organize here. 3%, 3%, 3%, 3 6%. It's the only armor we got. And then these are 8 to 12. And then this is four to six, but with damage to all. I 
I think I get it. Ooh, hoo -hoo. big hits. Did that road lantern just drop this down to three ghouls instead of four? Neat. Look at things before I start doing things, before we do anything crazy here. A lot lower health, a lot faster attack. Okay, so let's put you on our damage to fall slot. You're the same, but with more critical damage, no damage to all. Evasion 6, we switch. Evasion 7%, yes. Less evasion, more attack speed. Could go pure damage, but then we lose damage all and attack speed and critical damage. We don't want to do that. So now we've put the rock. Open up that. Critical damage chance. And counter damage? Why, why counter? Hmm. Evasion 5% and evasion bonus 13%. So... That was all of our evasion and it just went straight to 18%. I like it. Okay. Um, you, though. Um, it's more damage for either of them. But... Less critical damage. I think we still do it. As well place another treasury. I'm happy that the goblin camp spawned kind of in the middle of nowhere. I just one shot the vampire. Nice.
Throw down another road lantern there. And get some meadows going. Okay, that did something. I think that said counts something. So that's worse evasion. Um, all of our stuff is new. Please hold. It's attack speed. That's a lot of health. Okay. This is one I think we should put on in place of the sword, because that's a fair bit more damage, and the evasion bonus is pretty darn good. And we have stats. Lowers the quantity of items received on the camp tile by three, while increasing the quality. Okay. Let's be picky. I like it. Now the question is, do we lose our 8% attack speed in favor of 8% counter and a lot more health? I think we do for the time being. I am a fan of this class so far. Whoops, that was a little too far over. It's a little more squishy as far as the health is concerned. But I think we can make it work. I like the evasion. That's really my thing. I'm a fan of that. Also, being able to stack up damage the way we are, that's also pretty nice. Oh yeah, Count's Lands, what are you about? That's a lot of health being restored versus 20 or 35? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> let's get the chest first. Uh, let's actually not get the chest first. We'll lose something possibly valuable. Evasion counter and critical damage. damage to all. I think we like that. I think we stick with the damage to all. Okay, so. For the Dirk. I think we replace the Mace. Extra 16% crit damage chance. Is it worth trading some evasion bonus for that? I mean, it would put us at a 26% chance versus a 50% chance to evade. 50% chance to evade is pretty awesome. 26% chance to do 
140% damage, I don't think is worth it. I think the survivability is more important. I don't have anything else for attack speed, so we're gonna just let attack speed go by the wayside, I think. Crit for 71, that's nice. Get a blood path going. think for a second. Can't put another vampire mansion here because the bandit camp. Never mind. Get the harpy mountain going. Damage plus 26%. Oh boy. That's pretty crazy. Is it worth losing some evasion? I don't think that it is. valuing the evasion higher than anything else. I don't know if it's the right decision, but it's what I'm going with. We'll do that. We will absolutely do that. That's a no. That's a no. That's a no. This is actually worth more worthwhile than oh no, that's a lot more damage, never mind. Instead of 35% critical damage, we get counter, crit damage, and attack speed. How about no? How about we get rid of you and add you in, though? How's... Quest failed? Oh, because I, uh... <laughs> I, I ransacked the village. Whoops. Well, that does make sense, doesn't it?
I dropped it down to two. That's nice. starting to uh, heal. We need to be a little more mindful, I think. do to avoid this. Full hand of Oblivion cards would do some work. there. I think that'll help out for now. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got some we got some stuff happening. Those are all old. So you're new. So what do we have? More damage on either side of things. We get critical damage and crit damage chance. Lose evasion. Yeah, we want that. more damage, evasion bonus. We want to get rid of our... Not you, but you, sadly. I would rather have 
crit damage chance instead of critical damage percent. And with attack speed, that gives us a better chance to actually get crits because we're throwing out more attacks. I think that's the right decision. I really wish we could get something with such a high evasion bonus, such as like it's something as high as that 16% we have on this. I wish. Because that's kind of what we need. But the 52% evasion chance is kind of hard to go wrong with. Ghost of a ghost? What? <laughs> I thought ghosts only spawn if they're cemeteries. Because we tripled up on the blood path? Oh, it's battlefields. Never mind. Cemeteries are skeletons. Silly. This one's a little scary. We're gonna have to oblivion some stuff just for the sake of me getting health. So let's oblivion these crystals. Let's road lantern down here, reduce the enemies there. You're gone. You're gone. I know we felt the quest, but we'll live. in the center of that throw down that wait it just it just slid it over that's not what I wanted to happen I mean cool but not what I wanted okay hold on a second evasion goes down but then we get an evasion bonus that's 14 percent so our evasion will go from 52 to 57 yeah even though its main bonus is lower, or its main amount that you get is lower, it's got a bonus on top of it. Okay, I'm understanding the language of the game a little more. I nearly missed that. We should just be able to theoretically evade all of the things. He says as he continues to get smacked. I 
I'm gonna have to use Oblivion on some stuff again. This works. that open. Don't unpause just yet. So despite the higher evasion, the evasion bonus going away is super bad. Um, much higher max health. A higher attack speed and defense. Counter and crit damage percent are all well and good, but I think the defense and the higher attack speed, I think that's what we want. We throw a rock down here, Oblivion here. We're gonna Oblivion the empty treasury so it doesn't spawn as many gargoyles, and we're gonna place that right there. Now that ransacked village isn't doing anything at all anymore. Probably with a cat and not on my lap because my leg is falling asleep. Oh, jeez. On the bright side, the game's an auto battler. <laughs> I can kind of just ignore it for a moment. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's better. Evasion 12%, that's worse. Okay, oh, tier 11 loot. Oh boy. Okay, let's see if anything has... None of its... I'm losing evasion bonus, no matter what. Which I'm not happy about. Damage to all 14, though. So we're gonna, we're gonna take the 16% hit here, I think. in favor of attack speed. I'd rather take the 9% hit though, because it's going to be multiplicative because we've got that evasion um, bonus 14% there, so it's going to be a big hit that we take. So I think we should just go for it on you. damage chance is probably pretty good though. Damage to all seven, we could have damage to all. Whew, that's good. I think we need to consider that. Damage to all 14 at that point. Let's try it.
And at that point, do we want to take a slight bit down on the attack speed? Because we're at 52% attack speed. In favor of crit damage. I think we should. We'll try it. This might have been the right call. I'm leaning towards this being the correct decision. We created a 30 for our damage to all. <laughs> That's dumb. Oh, that is gloriously, gloriously dumb. Oh, another dark slime. So, hmm, decisions. First off, meadow. Oh, boss. Oh no. <laughs> I was not paying attention. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Cool. my evasion. I'm placing around this treasury. Okay, what do we have? Evasion 14% versus 10. Evasion bonus goes down 1%. So that'll take us from 24 to 27, yes. And then evasion bonus 10%, yes. Back to 39%, I love it. So we've got attack speed, we like it. We have attack speed, we like it. Damaged all, doesn't really matter against this boss at least. We could go in, we could go to the boss or we could just run. A lot of things increasing its health by 5%. Um, we, we could just run. I'm not gonna. We're gonna do it.
Yeah, we've got this. Give me some good evades. Game, come on, give me some good evades. Thank you. A couple more of those. Not that. Evade. Nice crit. No, no, no. Not, not you. You don't evade. I evade. That's my job. Okay, so... Plus one resurrection charge. Interesting. So let's see here. Let's let's think. If we can pump our evasion up, then I can still run away at no cost. So I don't know why I can, but I still can. I need to keep the evasion bonus. That's the key here. Attack speed 28%. It's kind of nice, though. Making me math. I think it's worth it for the extra attack speed. Because that's staying the same. Yeah, perfect. Now we have damage to all 16. We want to take an attack speed cut for more damage to all. And more damage overall. That put me at a 41% chance. Twenty-four damage to all. Big attack speed cut, but twenty-four damage to all. You'll love to see that. Let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get ourselves into now. Oh, hold up! We have a level. three health after a kill as an I restore health or my health total goes up I don't know so let's find out for some sustain, though. Oh, boy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, I think we've kind of figured it out. At least to some extent. Um, get rid of you. Why not? you too. Why not? And once we go through our little, uh, a little uh, housing development up top here. We're gonna get a bunch of health back. Ooh, a treasury. We're running out of room for where I can place these stupid things. some new boots. Don't like them. We lose the evasion bonus, so we say no. And then we go here. Okay, let's look through it all. So you're all old. Evasion, 30%, but we lose... That might actually be worth it. Big attack speed. But we lose some damage to all. So you're just straight better. Is it you? Yeah. I'm you, but I deal more damage. Evasion bonus... 9%. Lose the crit damage chance. Yeah, it's not worth it. That, that's not worth it. That's a mimic. They do exist in the game. Would you look at that? Seventy-one health back per day. That's insane. What a run. I'm kind of curious how far we can take it, just to be honest. Like, where does it cap out? Also, these changed to the Count's lands, even though I deleted the Vampire Mansion. So there's a strat. Neat. Very neat. I like it.
Oh, so it looks like we hit the cap on the stable wood. So getting level 10, I would assume that's why it's got the orange around it. Getting level 10 is where, or getting 10 of the upper level stuff is where it caps. Okay, so please hold. No evasion. Armor with evasion bonus. Down 1%. that already. The evasion 30% is tempting. Making me math. This is just strictly better. You'll love to see it. Those are both 34%. Um, our mace does not have... And it's got 7 damage to all. Ooh, hey, look, evasion bonus. I'm willing to lose some damage to all for evasion bonus, I think. And by that, I mean I'm willing to lose some damage to get it, because you, not you, you, no. What? You have my attack speed. So I'm going to get rid of you. To get rid of some damage to all. And get that evasion bonus cranked up there. That was the right decision, but I honestly don't know. Oh, we're just gonna go with it. Because why not, you know? Let's just see how far we can take it. And I'm just saying. Last time, we took a fair amount of damage going through that. Being able to evade it 64% of the time is really nice. Crazy run. I like this class. This class is nice. Um, oh, do we cap out at 181? Looks like we might have. No, we didn't. <laughs> One-shotting things is insane. I'm loving this. Yeah, the high evasion is the play. Everything else just falls in place. What was that? Oh, it was a uh, book of memories. I mean, if anything, this is good to get those pages. OK, 
Okay, we got some things. Okay, this Dirk. Damage to all. Ooh, we get an evasion bonus for that. So we replace the mace with the Dirk. We lose some damage, get a better... Re 75% chance to evade. Yeah. That's just worse, except we get better damage to all, and I don't like that. Holy damage, 62 to 94. Damn. Ah, and a new Dirk. More damage than either of them. Higher evasion bonus. Is it you? 13%, here are my 19%, so it is you. So, we lose damage to all. Get magic damage, critical damage chance goes up. Yeah. Oh, we're maxed at 75. Well, that was a poor play then. Darn. Well, now we know evasion maxes at 75%. That's a shame. We were already there. We made a bad decision. That's my fault. So if that's the case, will probably be the last uh, last loop around. Not because it has to be, but because I'm a little disappointed that we hit the cap. <laughs> Actually, we'll switch this. 71%, but much faster attack speed. I think that's worth it. we start getting some, like, crazy good loot. Just instantly open a treasury, why not? Um... No evasion bonus, we don't care. Evasion 21%, that's the same. We lose attack speed. 
so we don't care. Starting to run out of room anyway. Let's just take a quick glance and we'll decide. So. We max that out again. means that this can probably get upgraded. It stays maxed out. Do I want damage to all over critical damage? Kinda. So I think that's where we'll leave it. But honestly, let's just end it. Let's just end the loop. It's fine. Part of the world. We got an achievement. So it looks like we can get some upgrades in on the kitchen or the hut. Let's find out what those do for us. Carry two extra potions, and they have a better effect. Or 8% of the camp's healing power. Can we build anything new? We can build a couple of new things. We can build a cemetery. We can build the supply depot. Or we can build the smithy. Let's you start with basic warrior's gear. Interesting. Starting with gear is probably really good. But resurrecting the hero. He has a cat. And there's a crypt, which we can actually almost build. And it unlocks a necromancer. Ooh. Unlocks the Ancestral Crypt Golden Card if the Intel Center is built. Okay. So for the crypt, we need four more preserved rock. So, I'm looking to see what 
What does the farm do? So we could do the farm, still be good on the stable wood. We would need more rock, but we already need more rock. We're good on the stable metal, and we're good on orbs of expansion. So I could do either of these and not be far off from the crypt still. So this, all empty tiles around the farm are transformed into gardens. After an expedition, it gives you one ration for every completed loop, but not more than there are garden tiles around the farm. You can build something over the garden. Unlocks the wheat field. Covered. Hmm. Excuse me. From now you'll be able, you'll begin to find useful artifacts for your people. Unlock the ability to craft items if you have the necessary buildings. Unlocks the ruins card. Hmm. So the smithing and the supply depot go hand in hand, and then the intel center and the crypt go hand in hand. Yeah, there's even a path going over to it, now that I see that. Mud hut? Zero? What? It's a tough decision, okay? We're gonna go for the smithy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how far off are we now? We're halfway there on the uh, preserved rock. But that's the goal, I think. That's what I want. So next time we're probably gonna do a run as the um, warrior because we start with basic warrior gear now. And we got a new thing, a temporal beacon. So better than the regular beacon, speeds up time by 50%. Spawn time watchers, which are afraid of vampires. Interesting. Not sure what those do, but interesting. We'll have to find out. We'll confirm that. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, though. I had a good run. I am happy with that. Thank you all for stopping by. I'll see you guys next time.